How's it going gamers, it's Chongo here and today I've got a gameplay commentary for you guys. The gameplay is of Ghost Recon Phantoms on the PC. It's a free to play game which is something that you know I thought would obviously be applicable for what this video is about if you've read the title. It's basically the future of free to play games in my opinion on it, so let's get into it. So first off, it's very surprising nowadays how many games that are actually free to play and most of them are done really well, although there is still quite a great majority of them that are done terribly, but it's quite different from back in the day where it was always, you know, you'd have cheaper games but you would never really have a free to play game. And I mean, we're seeing a more of a move to free to play as opposed to a cheap game. So for example, a game like Killing Floor that I've bought for I think $20 when it was first released on Steam like a couple of years ago, and I've played like 110 hours on it or something like that and I've really enjoyed that game and I bought DLC for it and it was really awesome. And I think that's kind of like the games nowadays that we're seeing turn into a free to play game because they realize that if someone's going to buy your game, it needs needs to be, like, if you are going to shell out $50 or more than that for a game, it needs to be a really well done game or a really, you know, AAA game that's really high quality and stuff. So if these games aren't going to be that, they either need to be, you know, cheap or they need to be free to play. Now for some people who don't see why free to play games are, you know, taking off like they are, it's just mainly because that they're tapping into a greater market. Because when you do have, you know, more expensive game, there's going to be less people playing it, but they're still going to be making more money because the game is more expensive. But with a free to play game, you're having pretty much your audience is massive because people are just going to play the game because it's free. They may not buy anything, but your potential to get someone to buy something from the game is obviously going to be higher if it's free because everyone gets to have a go at it. Now, I think the future of free to play games, we're going to see a lot more of them go from more of a cosmetic approach to paying because lots of them that are free to play do this whole thing of pay to win which most gamers hate because it's really annoying knowing that someone can you know pay a certain amount of money and then all of a sudden they're better than you just because they drop some money on a game now obviously this is sort of appealing to you know the higher ups in companies because you, you want as much money as you can get that's that's how businesses work so they want to get as much money and although that may get the money it's going to make their game suck in the long run because people aren't going to want to play a game where you just you know click put some money in and the game you know wins for you you don't really like that and I don't really like that concept and I think more people are starting to realize that they want to actually have a challenge they don't want something that's going to be really completely easy so I think in the future we will still see some cash grab games where obviously there's pay to win features in there and it's just the whole point of the game is to get you to you know give them money that's it whereas I find other free to play games the point of them is you know you're meant to play it and if you enjoy it and you feel like you know this game is worth your money then you can buy cosmetic items so an example is there was a new um, survival game announced by Sony, which is H1Z1. It's meant to be like sort of like Daisy and all that kind of stuff. Now, I'm not really interested in those games as much as I was once because they're kind of getting a little bit old at this point, but they've basically said that they're not going to do any pay to win. All the stuff that you buy is just going to be cosmetic, so like a weird hat or a weird mask or something like that. And I think that's a really good thing that more people are starting to realize that this concept is better. I'd rather play a game that's free to play, and if I do like the game, I will pay for something. I'd buy something cosmetic or something like that. So I think a really good example of that would be a game called League of Legends, which I'm sure most of you would have heard of or play it yourself. It's a really awesome game, and the ability to make a game that's so widespread like that that anyone can play it, and that you don't have to pay to play, like even if your friend, you know, has no money or anything like that, he can play this game with you and that's not a problem. Even though you could be, you know, buying every skin under the sun, it doesn't really change the experience, which I really like. And a friend of mine who you've probably seen in a couple of Dense Crew videos, as well as in my Dead Rising Let's Play Mitchie, he said that instead of games being pay to win, they should be pay to skin. And I really like that whole concept and I really would like something for that to take off because pay to skin games would basically mean, you know, cosmetic stuff, nothing that changes the real way a game works, it's just how you look. Which I think that this does kind of work, I don't know if this is for everyone, but me personally, as I said before, will be paying for things in free-to-play games if I do like the game itself. It may not necessarily be that I've played it for long, even if I've only played the game for like 30 minutes. If I do enjoy the game, I do feel like I need to be buying something from the game. So I think in the future we're going to be seeing a lot more free-to-play games that are pay-to-skin as opposed to pay-to-win, because as I said before, more people like the whole concept of, you know, having cosmetic stuff that cost extra as opposed to, you know, buying extra guns or stronger weapons or anything like that that. So anyway, this brings me to the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, and if you've got any comments about free-to-play games in general, or basically anything I've spoken about in this video, put them down below, and if you want to join the Gamerhood, just subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.